what's going on everybody it's your boy here chris Troyer, and welcome to another episode of cooking with chris that's right i'm back again with this dreadful painful torturous to watch series for y'all here to curse your eyes again and give you nightmares with my horrible horrible cooking skills and stuff like that you know what i mean so today i decided to ruin some uh pasta it's just like you know sort of kind of a bag that was just found lying around i was super hungry and kind of tired and you know just a little bit you know cranky from hunger and all that so i decided you know what hey i'm i'm 18 i can try making uh some pasta on my own you know what i mean got a bag of pasta right here got the hunt's tomato sauce and we got the granulated salt in the back yeah i just wanted to quickly show y'all right here it's not expired it expires like 2024 i'm pretty sure you know what i mean we got the salt over there uh you know what i mean just have to add it in because it was on the directions gotta shake it up you know what i mean salt shaker type b and we have the spoon measures the teaspoon tablespoon and all that and we have the pot of water right there that's just sitting there boiling and stuff you know um, I honestly really thought that I could pull this off. I'm not really going to say too much so y'all can just sort of kind of watch the video. But the, you know what the fact of the matter is I tried my best and uh, yeah just follow me along as I quote unquote cook or at least attempt at cooking this pasta right here. So without further ado let's get into it. So as you can see right here in this clip I was able to get the water to like a rolling boil. The fact that I had to search up what a specific rolling boil was before even attempting this or getting into it already goes to show y'all where I'm at in terms of cooking level. You know what I mean? So I got it to a rolling boil. It was steaming and all that. I had to take the top off, pause, uh, and, you know, had to pour in the pasta because, you know, obviously you got to pour in the pasta in order to boil it or to cook it. You know what I mean? It was on the directions after all. You know what I mean? They said per 12 ounces of pasta, you got to have certain amounts of like water and stuff. I just said, you know, skip it, whatever. You know what I mean? Because I, I didn't have a cup measure on me or anything like that. So I just sort of kind of poured in like half the bag. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, right here, I took out my tablespoon. I had to bring it extra close to the camera so that y'all knew it was a tablespoon. So then I took it, just poured in some uh, salt on it, then just poured it right in. You know what I mean? Then I got to stirring and stuff, you know, got to make sure it was all in there. And then while that was happening, uh, I opened up the can of Hunt sauce, you know, preparing to use it um, incorrectly as I sh I'm going to show you guys a little in a little bit. That stutter was egregious and I could very much edit it out if I wanted to, but I'm going to just leave it in because why not? Anyway, as you guys probably anticipated, the water accidentally boiled over and I accidentally ended up spilling some. My mom even had to remind me to quickly turn it off because yeah, I'm just really that stupid. I'm just really that guy. You know what I mean? I'm not going to lie, bro. I pretty much knew that this attempt at cooking was going to be doomed from the start because apparently I didn't learn from last time. You know what I mean? Y'all remember the hamburgers? In fact, I'm going to put a little bit of a flashback here to jog you guys' memory. Uh, listen, y'all poking holes through the burger meat. I don't really know. It's going to be a tasty treat. Just want to speed through this because it is boring. I do not want to leave y'all snoring. Listen, I don't take this seriously, but like and subscribe. You know, it's kind of funny. Those burgers, that rap, and overall that entire video were all way better composed than this entire meal. It's crazy. By the way, if y'all ever want me to make a continuation of that rap, let me know. But anyway, over here we got to the straining. And as I was straining this, I sort of kind of accidentally spilled some of the hot water on my leg. That only hurt a little bit though, you know what I mean? It's not too much damage. So then I thought it was a super stupid idea, which I should have realized earlier, to try and record while trying to pour boiling water somewhere. So I decided to turn the recording off, put the phone down and just uh do it regularly you know what i mean and here we have the final result of all of that not so high effort cooking just as underwhelming and disappointing as y'all would expect i'll be honest by the time that i was preparing to put the sauce on the pasta i had already given up on that point plus someone came into the kitchen and rudely interrupted me while i was cooking and i was just really like you know I, the hunger was really starting to get to me so i just decided you know what let me open up the can of uh uncooked because apparently I was supposed to cook it, which my mom came in and corrected the uncooked sauce. And I just straight up poured it into the bowl along with the pasta and mixed it in. You know what I mean? I uh, deep down, I knew that there was extra steps with the pasta sauce. I knew you were supposed to do something else. But I was literally so hang angry, hangry, hangry is even the correct word. I was so angry that I was just really getting close, that close to eating this stuff. You know what I mean? But luckily, my mom came in clutch to save the day and she just overall redid the entire thing. You know what I mean? So I ended up eating a delicious uh, bowl of her pasta instead of mine, which was so terribly cooked that I probably would have gotten food poisoning. You know what I mean? So, you know, shout out to my mom appreciate her you know what i mean love her love her all the way to the bank you feel me but anyway i love you guys thank you guys so much for tuning into this probably final episode of cooking with chris y'all are probably saying in the comments who let this dude cook you know what i mean honestly 
no one like i cooked this on my own volition and i it was even a mistake it probably it definitely would have been a bad idea to actually eat that food i'm so glad i just my mom just told me straight up yeah just throw it out. i'll help you cook you know what i mean really grateful to her for for doing that because i was really hungry at the time i just woken up night breakfast but anyway i'm going on a little bit of a tangent here thank you guys for tuning in be sure to leave a like subscribe uh, turn on notifications for more videos and stuff like that and until the next video i'm gonna see y'all soon and peace out